You will learn how to SSH into a VirtualBox guest machine from a local host computer as well as from another computer. I will use SSH as an example here, but these settings will work for other scenarios, such as a web server on your VirtualBox machine. Let's get started. Prepare your VirtualBox. And we will start with installing SSH in your VirtualBox OS. I assume you run a Debian-based distro in your virtual box, such as Ubuntu, for example. That's what I'm going to use in this video. If you want to install SSH in any other guest uh, Linux distribution, I have a dedicated video on how to install and configure SSH, which you can access here or for the link in the description. So in Ubuntu, you just need to install OpenSSH server package after the installation, check its status and you should see that it is active. If it is not, enable it and start it manually by running this command. Make sure you use the option now. And it should be active after that. Open SSH port in firewall. If you have firewall enabled in your virtual box, it will block SSH connection. First, I recommend you to check which ports are open on your system. You can do it with this command. I have many ports open here, but this is for another reason. The main idea that the port 22, this is SSH port, that it is open here. If you don't find port 22 among open ports, you can open it using UFW firewall. Just run UFW allow SSH and then check the status of your firewall. You can also use the graphical interface of UFW Firewall. I have a dedicated video on Linux Firewall, which you can watch by going into this card or using the link in the description. Next, we need to do some VirtualBox network settings. So you just need to go to the VirtualBox settings, navigate to the network tab, and make sure you have the settings attached to set to not. Then click on the advanced, and go to the port forwarding. And here you need to add your SSH connection by clicking on the plus sign. You can name it whatever you want, but the easiest would be to name it SSH. For the protocol, you keep it TCP. And then you just need to add the host port, which will be 2222. And the guest port will be 22. Uh, you can leave the host IP and the guest IP empty. It will be determined automatically here. Next, we need to install SSH on our client computer. So far, we have done all the settings in our virtual box. Now you need to switch to your local or your host computer. So in my case, it is KD Neon. So you just need to install the OpenSSH client. I already have it installed. And if you use Windows as your host OS, you can use such program as Party. It is free. After you have installed the OpenSSH client, you can test your SSH connection. To do that, you need to type the command SSH. We will use port 2222 here. Then you need to type the username of your VirtualBox guest OS. In my case, it is AOU but your name will be different here. And the address will be localhost. Press enter. If you see this message which says, are you sure you want to continue connecting? Say yes. Then you type your password. Again, here you use the password from your VirtualBox guest OS, not the password from your local computer or your host computer. And hopefully you are logged in. As you can see here, I have been in my KDE Neon uh, terminal and now I am in my VirtualBox Bash environment. Everything works fine here. But what if you want to connect to your VirtualBox OS from another computer, not from your host computer? That is also possible. First go to the VirtualBox Guest OS settings. Again, navigate to the Network tab. And here in the Attach to settings, switch from NAT to bridge adapter. Bridge adapter creates a routing that makes your VirtualBox network interface look like your host network interface. So that way you can reach your VirtualBox machine from another machine. 
Next, go to your VirtualBox guest OS and find out the AP address of your VirtualBox. You can do it with this simple command if you are running Ubuntu. And then you need to look at the interface you have. If it's a VirtualBox, most likely you will have interface similar to mine. And here is the AP address of my VirtualBox OS. For those of you who prefer graphical interface, there is also option to go to the network settings, open the connection settings, and you will see the IP address listed here as well. So you need to copy this IP address because that's what you need to use to connect to this VirtualBox to S in the next step. Now I will open my laptop. So the VirtualBox to S is installed on my desktop computer. And I can use my laptop to connect to my VirtualBox OS on my desktop. So I just run the SSH command. This is a username LU, but instead of the localhost address, I use the IP address we have noted previously. Type my password, and I am successfully connected from my laptop to my desktop VirtualBox OS. There is one important thing I would like to point out here. Both my desktop and my laptop are connected to the same network, so I can use my private IP address here, and the IP address I see in my VirtualBox is my private IP address. And this is fine, usually I think for most test purposes this is ok, but if there is a scenario when you need to connect to your VirtualBox OS from the outside of your local network, then you need to do some additional configuration. First of all, you need to find out your public IP address which is very easy to do if you just type my IP address in Google and it will tell you your public IP address. And then you also need to configure port forwarding in your router because router usually has a firewall which would block SSH connection. This is more complicated setup and I don't recommend you to use it for the security reasons. If you still want to do it, I highly recommend you to configure SSH to the highest security standards, which I have described in the video you can see on your screen right now. I hope this video was useful and you are able to connect to your VirtualBox guest OS through SSH. Thank you for watching.